Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing the mid-ear refresh for my Louis Vuitton small ring agenda or PM agenda. This is my wallet and finance agenda and I still love using this as my finance agendas. Um, so we're not going to change that. So I'm actually gonna take everything out. Well here, first I'll do a quick flip of what we currently have and then we're gonna take everything out and start fresh because um, we're gonna need a new set of tab dividers in here. So I have this Louis Vuitton dashboard from Salty22, a 2021 yearly overview from Infinite Lotus, my inbox from Cloth and Paper with inbox inserts, and then I have my monthly tabs. So behind each tab has a monthly overview so I can check off when I pay bills and then I have an expense insert that lists all of the expenses with the amounts and then that is it. So I am gonna reincorporate a few more things back into here, but we just have the same setup for six months and then have this pocket with a zip from Etsy. And I really love having this in here because it can hold um, many miscellaneous items. I have this pocket, which is to hold cards. I think I'm gonna take it out right now. I just have a photo of my fiance and I when I got my MBA. And then I have a photo of me and my dad from when I was little. And then I have my vaccine card in here. I am gonna keep this in here. This one will be in the back. So I think I'm just gonna remove the credit card holder because I wanna keep um, these two in here. So we're gonna take everything out and then I'm going to set this up. Okay y'all, so I just set up one month and I will do the rest off camera so it's on a super long video. But I have my planner set up for the rest of the year. So again, I have this dashboard from Salty22, Infinite Lotus dashboard, my inbox. I decided to, I was gonna add the top three clear tabs from Cloth and Paper, but I decided not to, to save room. So. In my inbox, I did decide to put my order tracker. So I did take that out of my main agenda. And so um, when I moved that in my main agenda, I didn't want to have repeat information. And so since I've taken that out of my main agenda, I want to put it back in here. So I just have it under the inbox. And then we have the monthly tabs. So these are the glass gold monthly tabs from Cloth and Paper. And then all of the inserts in here are from Infinite Lotus. Um, I'll have links to everything below. I also have a discount code with Infinite Lotus and I'll have that down below as well. But these are the monthly overviews and so on here I mark when my personal bills are due and so I used these stickers from Papery Planning. Um, these are the Rose Clay Mini Transparent Dots to mark my personal debt due dates. So these are all my credit card due dates and loans. And these are also everything that I pay manually. Everything else is on auto pay. So all of my joint expenses that I have with my fiance are all on auto pay out of our joint account. So I just have these bills icon stickers from the planner spot in here to mark the due date just so I can visually see it. And then oh, I forgot to add the payday stickers from Infinite Lotus. And then I have the payday stickers in here from Infinite Lotus 
And this is just a general overview. Also, I like to check off when I when bills are paid. So this is primarily for me to check things off. And then I have an overview of the month over here. So I don't have anything really going on in July. In August, there is a few things. I have my state inspection, registration, and then I have maintenance due on my car. So I already pre-wrote all of that so y'all can see that. I also have my second residency for the year. Um, so I'll have to come up with all the travel costs associated with that as well. But other than that, I just have the financial overview too. And so this is just an overview of the month. So it adds up all of the paychecks, expenses, savings, and so on. And then I have this expense sheet and it has my joint bills that I have with my fiance for our joint account. And then my personal bills for my personal debt account. So all of this comes out of one account and all of this comes out of and all of this comes out of one account and then i have this vellum from salty 22 as well to divide the budget tracker so i was going to have it in like a top tab or behind my inbox but i decided just to move it in the month and then i can put it behind the current month and just have an ongoing budget tracker until at least the sheet runs out so i'm trying to keep better track of my finances and I might start doing budget and finance videos again just because that helps keep me accountable when I don't do them. I'm very bad at it. I'm also hoping that this planner refresh will help with um, starting fresh in the planner and keeping track of finances, but we'll see. But yeah, I have this and then it's just the same each month minus the budget tracker that's just going to get moved between each tab. And I'll try and do, and I think I'm gonna start doing those videos again and that way y'all can see everything. But yeah, we have all of that. And then I just took out the card holder and so I just have my COVID vaccine card in here in my pocket. And then that is the setup. So this is ready for um, the rest of the year and perfectly set up. I'm just going to archive the these inserts from this first half of the year. So because these are expense related, I just grabbed a gold paper clip and I'm gonna put these in my document holder that I have from Erin Condren. And then I'll do the same once um, it's time to prep for 2022 in here. But yeah, other than that, that is going to be it for this video. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching.